Hello, I'm James Clark from the Department of Physiology at King's College London and in this short tutorial I'm going to show you how to make some lower thirds to go in the bottom left hand side of your videos when using OBS to record your lectures. You'll notice on the screen I have PowerPoint loaded and I've created my lower thirds. These are the King's College London lower thirds. They're the ones recommended by our branding and marketing department. They're created in PowerPoint out of a grey box, a red box and two text boxes over the top. One might think this is a great way of creating these lower thirds but unfortunately PowerPoint is not the place to start because PowerPoint is incapable of exporting images with a transparent background and if they haven't got a transparent background you will not be able to use them as a video overlay in your video editing software or in OBS for instance. You could create your lower thirds in PowerPoint, highlight the graphic image, right click and choose save as picture and save the picture as a JPEG or a PNG and then you might be able to use those but the scaling will be wrong so you'll have to rescale your image once we import them. So for the sake of this I'm going to save this. I'm going to save this picture. I'm going to call it LT1. I'm going to put it onto my desktop folder and leave it there for the moment. Now I'm going to close PowerPoint and don't save that. This is how I've generated my lower thirds and I would heartily recommend using a proper graphics application to generate these if you have access to one. There are plenty of free programs on the internet for doing graphics. This is using um, Affinity Photo. It's not free but it's incredibly good value for a Mac computer but there are PC variants as well. And what I've done is I've set up a canvas size of 1920 by 1080. That's the standard 1080p high definition resolution. And within that canvas I've placed the same graphical elements as you saw in PowerPoint and this time they are within Affinity Photo. You can see down the right hand side I've got my name, my affiliation, the little red bar, the white bar, and then I've got my canvas size uh, reminder on the screen to remind what to say. So let's hide that out of the way for the moment. And now I can export the entire canvas onto my desktop and import this into OBS to use as my overlay. So I'm going to choose to export this as a PNG, press export, and I'm going to call this LT2. Now I'm in OBS and on my desktop I've got LT1 and LT2. Let's just have a little look at LT1. Here it is. You'll see it's just the lower third image. There's no background, there's no screen size, there's no point of reference. If we look at the second one, we'll see that this one is a lot bigger for a start. It is a full 1920 by 1080 and the lower third, the titles, are in exactly the right place to appear on the screen if this was a full frame video. So this is the best one to use. And simply to set this up in OBS as an overlay, you get your PNG file and drag and drop it onto the screen. And there we are, your lower thirds are on the screen. You can program this into OBS to appear or disappear with a key press or to appear only in certain scenes, but that's the quickest way of getting your lower thirds. I'm just going to remove that and show what the other one looks like. So this was the one we created in PowerPoint. I drag and drop. By default it appears in the top left hand side and if I choose to make that a little bit bigger and move it down, it then could be a satisfactory lower thirds. But it does require some scaling and some resizing to get that exactly right. And if you wish to replicate that among multiple documents or multiple applications, you'll have to get the scaling perfect. Now you've generated this lower thirds file, you can use it in any video editing application to provide a nice little lower thirds title on your productions. If you found this tutorial useful, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel.